What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. I'm your host, CP, and uh, this is the CP Podcast. The podcast where we talk about the shit the CP want to talk about. If you want to talk about the shit CP want to talk about, you got to get the fuck on. But since you're here, that means you cool with the real niggas. You know what I'm saying? We got to my right, my partner at night in the fight against everything that's right, even if that ain't sound right. Give it up for Maya. And, uh, and then, you know... Back in the black tee with a little bit more festiveness to it. Got a little bit of, <laughs> got a little bit of, you know, color in the hat. Yeah. You know, you like a mood ring, man. You know, when I look at you, I'm like, man, Amir, how's he feeling today? And and you know what? You look like you're feeling good, man. Got some colors on you, man. How you feeling, man? Uh, yeah, I feel good. That's what's up, man. Got two chains on. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga don't just do two chains, man. Amir did chains. Duh. He finna go skating when this go up. <laughs> I like skating. You like skating? I'm not that good though. Well, Man. I, I can. I'm not gonna fall See, unless somebody falls in front bro, of me, bro. That's here's the thing. I get better as a skater the more the night goes on. Like as long as I keep the skates on, eventually I find my way to kind of feeling sweet, and then and then I forget it the very next time I got to skate. Like I put them on, I be like, whoa, whoa. Then I start finding my little swag. The next thing you know, about an hour into it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm floating around that bitch. Then my shirt blowing. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yo, look, your shirt got to blow when you skate. If your shirt don't blow, man, oh, I exactly. love my shirt blow. I ride past some girls. I want to be you. Well, Maya, you, uh, you ice skate, right? I ice skate. But can you, can you roller skate too? I can roller skate, but I can't do too many tricks in Do it. your shirt blow when you ice skate. I'm not wearing anything that looks. Ah, it's not no. sweet then. You can't ice skate like, I want to be <laughs> They're not supposed to. <laughs> no, I don't think it's not loose. <laughs> if your game is on, you ice skating, boo. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? My uh, coach one time, this is this guy old, old now, but when he was young, he was crazy. And his his pants got caught in his ice skate. Ooh. When he was trying to land like a very specific jump, he broke a vertebrae in his back and was like laid up for months. I don't Damn. want anything loose. Mm. Nothing crazy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I guess mm. the risk mm. is higher if you fall on some ice. Yeah. That's I'll, what people say. I think it's it's the high, risk is higher for roller skating. Yeah, that's in my really? opinion. Uh, no, that's like ice. Ice is. I feel like ice, ice is ice harder is than like you knew what you was getting yourself into. If you know, I was raised by old people who say shit like you shouldn't have had your ass out there. <laughs> and so I just didn't have my ass out there. You know, so I saw a nigga take an ice skate off, and I don't know if I told you this story. He, he we was in college, and that nigga he probably was drunk, and he was taking the ice skate off, and bam, it it came off and got stuck in his face. That can happen. There was that hockey player that got killed recently in that game. Yeah, you ever you ever you ever see some fucked up shit happen to somebody and you want to beat their ass because you had to see it? <laughs> like, man, I should fuck you up for me having to see that shit. I didn't, nigga. But yeah, <laughs> when you send in flowers in the hospital, you should be like, also you, you made me see this just to let you know. Let me ask you a question. You think a nigga like me finna send a nigga some flowers? <laughs> <laughs> that's big. That's what's up, man. That that give me hope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For like how I'm, you know how I'm looked at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. And I got something for you guys today. I brought some uh some treats from our newest sponsor. I got to um we're going to go into this. I'm not I'm new to this as far as doing ads. And and we, and we don't do ads. We do uh uh, brand suggestions because this is who we fuck with. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you would like to be one of our brands who we uh, who we are um, affiliated with, then you know you might want to holler at us. But today we have a new sponsor, and uh, it's helping us to stay healthy and energized. Uh, I'm talking about Nico Kitchen Shop and their amazing sea moss products. Now, I never took no sea moss before. I wasn't really like the sea moss guy. Um, and so I had her send me, this is, this is, this is not the real label. She wanted me to say that this is just like a refill pack, so to speak. Um, you know, the real label got color and it's beautiful. I needed some right then. You know what I'm saying? You know how you, you know, a crackhead be like, look, just put it in my hand. I don't need no bag. <laughs> put it in my hand. I don't need no bag. You know what I'm saying? So she's printing me this label. But I, I mean, dog, like, I'm going to just be honest with you. Like, uh, the energy that I had was crazy. Um... Let me get one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, give me one. I mean, and and so it, I'm gonna explain to y'all what CMOS is too. Here, you take two, just kind of like chew them up, and I'll tell you what they're made with. They're made with um, 
So these are um, tropical mix, and uh, so it's made with like sour sop and pineapple, along with the uh, with the sea moss. Um, I mean, this shit is delicious. And uh, like you know, my wife has been taking it. We've been giving it to the kids, and it's like, yo, and you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to say nothing that's gonna be like. Listen, remember when Viagra first came out, <laughs> and guys was walking around with a new confidence. Like, I got a new attitude. You know, you would think them niggas had BBLs the way they was walking around because they had them pills. All I'm gonna say is. Man, you know, this stuff makes me feel like that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But, you know, all these nutrients in it are essential for our overall health. So, you know, like uh, with 92 vitamins and minerals, we need like 102, I think, like per day, different minerals to be like a complete person. This has 92 of them. And uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, they got sea moss in all forms. They got gel. Capsules, so if you don't like the taste, but you still want to get what you need to get, you could take the capsules. Um, they even got sea moss uh soap. I got some sea moss soap that I've been using on my face, and I mean I feel amazing. Um, and so yeah, what I want y'all to do though, this is the call to action. This this has been a long ad, but this is our first ad. We just really, you know, how did it taste? Tastes all right, it's not yeah. too sweet, but yeah, it's, it's still not too sweet. sweet. It's it's like natural sugars, just you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I like about it. It's not trying to be Sweet, but it's also not horrible. I've had some sea moss that tastes like a lab table. Mm, no, I'm that like, tastes God damn, good. this shit tastes like licking stainless steel at the hospital. Um, so yeah, that, this is this is very good for me. Uh, so go to Nico Kitchen. That's N I C K O K I T C H E N S H O P dot com to lock in your order today. Now Nico makes every order, uh, every order, every single item to order. She makes it fresh and ships it within five to 10 days. And if you need guidance getting started, they have like a bunch of product recommendation quizzes that they do on their website. And they got videos to show you what to do and how to do it. Uh, you can use your promo code uh, CP sent me all one word CP sent me uh, to get 25% off your order. You know what I'm saying? That's N I C K O kitchen And uh, yeah, man, check this out. Like I've been really nervous about um, messing with CMOS. I just been hearing about it, but it's like, no, they got the applesauce. The applesauce is fire. Like, it's really fire. Like, we gave it to my kids, and they were like, oh, this is really good. It's fire. So, yeah, CP sent me. I promise you. Like, I'm not trying to just sell you no crazy shit. This is some real, really, really, really good stuff. Amir, you, you might want to taste one of these, too, whenever you get a chance. I know you got to check and see what the ingredients are. <laughs> Amir be alerted to shit. Like, does it have uh, filter water in it? Tap water. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. I was raised on filtered ice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, CP sent me. All one word. Uh, NicoKitchenShop.com, man. I'm really excited for y'all. I want to hear what y'all think, too. So in the next couple of weeks, when y'all get y'all orders, let me know what's up. Because uh, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. I don't, I don't even want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you, want, you want the audience to tell you about their boners? Hey, it ain't about boners. And why you got to say it like that? You I'm know, just, that's what that means. I don't use the word. No, this means like, hey, Fine. a blessing coming to you live in the form of an erection a little bit sometimes. <laughs> and also more energy, vitality. My eyes feel wetter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think about that? My eyes I are juicy as fuck. Like, God damn, my eyes are juicy. <laughs> you hear yourself blinking? <laughs> man, I don't hear myself blinking. It, you know what I'm saying? But like, man, it's like my eyes is floating. My eyes are floating. My eyes are juicier. Thank you, Nico Kitchen Shop, for these juicy <laughs> eyes. Everything I'm seeing in 2323. I ain't seeing 2020. I'm seeing more keen. More keen, clean. Anyway, yeah, man. So, yeah, that's what it's like, man. Being business with the CP podcast. Like, we really like your shit. <laughs> we really like your stuff, man. We really like it and we enjoy it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> the ball is tipped. Anyway. I want to get to the bottom of some shit, man. Okay. All right. So things are starting to be connected. And so a lot of times these conspiracies, okay. So for the last two weeks, it's been what happened in that mall in Miami, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's tailored on to what's happening above Miami, right? Like they have all these UFO sightings. 
Mm-hmm. Like it's been crazy, crazy, like um unidentified flying object, unidentified aerial phenomenon, um, just crazy shit in in the Miami skies. I would say over the last three or four months that are all coming to light right now. Now, there's that. Then there's the fact that all of the billionaires are going underground. Yes. And so it's it's like I want to get into like what a bunker is, what is supposed to protect you from for real, because let's be real. It's not about the location of your bunker, is it? Like it's they're not worried about Russia bombing because, you know, like this is for something else, because if you were building a bunker to protect you from war, you would want it to be a secret if you were a billionaire. But these people, they're building it for what? A two hundred and seventy million dollar bunker. First yeah. of all, first of all, can I come through and bring my family? <laughs> I, know I don't we know. Get, all, all we need is two rooms and a bathroom. We are good. We'll be out your way. Shows, comedy. We wish I every every week we do a show. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let us in. I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Kawi? How do you say that? K a Kawau. Kawau. Kauai, uh, Hawaii. That's where Zuckerberg. Kauai. You got to like let your jaw just let it go. Kauai. You know what I'm saying? That's where Zuckerberg. He built a 5,000 square foot underground bunker, complete with its own energy and food supplies. 5,000 square foot. That's like two good size houses, or one mansion underground. That that ain't 1,600 acres though. I think he bought the 1,600 acres because he's also got. Um, remember we were talking about those cows. The Wagyu beef that he gives uh, those expensive right, right, milk. right. This ranch that he's building is set to include this bunker. Got yeah, that's part of it. Right. Mm-hmm. So he's going to spend a hundred million on top of that total investment is two hundred and seventy for this bunker uh, ranch he's got going on. But for him, that's a drop in the bucket. That's like nothing. I would, to I would, him. I would agree, but do you understand what I'm saying? Though it's like what what. Why is he telling people? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do we know? Why do we need to know where your bunker is? Because, nigga, I'm coming through. How are you going to get there? What you mean? Mm-hmm. If, if stuff goes down, I don't think the planes are going to be flying. No, I'm gonna, I, I got a boat. All right. <laughs> no, nah, I don't have a boat, but I have a gun, so I have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm killing somebody for that boat. <laughs> so, okay. Um... Now this uh, this is not uncommon actually. Here's a we can we can shop bunkers right now. I yeah, I want to see some bunkers. Like what what would it take for a regular person to have a bunker? I would like a bunker. Bam, bunker me down. So what Atlas Safe Sellers. Now I think a lot of these are not going to take a direct nuclear hit. I'm not worried about a nuclear hit. That's the thing, and I don't think that neither is are they. I think they want to be hidden from some kind of extraterrestrial threat. Something happens that they want to be hidden from. They want to be away from the surface, which is what I think every civilization has done. The ones that survived were the ones that got away from the surface. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, right. I don't want to say it like it's just the, the truth, like I was there, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I was just saying, like, when like, were you when the civilizations fell? Now, we, we can talk about it. There have been times where civilizations have basically fallen and who survived and why they survived. But let's shop bunkers first. So this Atlas Survival Shelter is at a bidet in it. God damn, I feel you. You're gonna be down there. Yeah, you need a bidet. You look can't at, be sticky. Look at the gun room. So precast concrete bomb shots are twenty thousand. That's not bad, I think. Twenty thousand for that bunker? For just that one that they showed. But let's see what they got. Put that bitch on my mama house. You want to see safe shelters features? Compare quality. Oh, that's cool. So that goes right under the house. Mm. Oh, and they connect it to your basement. Mm-hmm. Like the and leave with the world behind. You saw that one, right? Uh, the Obama movie on yeah, Netflix. Right, 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 right. And she went down. Uh huh. So, what do you think about that movie? I thought it was good. I liked it. Tony it, thought it was like a conspiracy. He got all conspiratorial. Yeah, it just was like it wasn't even the plot wasn't even enough to justify the movie, and it was the, like a lot of dialogue that. It was just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, take your house back. Like, they left. Don't let them back in. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Like, you know what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, dog. 
My, he should have got shot by the dude who had the gun on him trying to get the medicine for the fuck. Get the fuck in the car and get out of there. It's like, what are we doing right now? Well, it's, I think Obama wanted to, he's always encouraging people to work together and come together. I don't, people say a lot of terrible things about Obama, but I think for the most part, he was trying to tell people in this movie to work together and to rely on each other and your community bonds will help you. And don't abandon people and still work with each other. That's what I thought. That's what I took away from it. Mm -hmm. People online got mad conspiratorial. They were like, well, the right wing, you know, the right wing was like, oh, he's trying to um, increase racial division with this movie. It's like, if anything, he's trying to decrease racial division with this movie. Mm. Is we're being nice to the white people. So this is in the floor of the kitchen. Mm-hmm. It comes up underneath your house and you're out. Mm. But don't nobody got time to get that shit dug up. I got the 20 bands, but then what they going to do? Come put that bitch on my mama's house and dig her shit up. And it's like, what else? What else they got? I imagine you can build this next to your existing house and then drill down into it. Or like if you're about to build a house. Oh, if you're about to build a house, you definitely get two or three of these that lead down from different places and then all connect in like a central like snack room. Yeah, because this one seems like it's built next to the house already. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to cover that up. That's not even that far down. Right, that's oh, not dude. that far down. They, they, they gonna, people are going to dig that right up and be knocking on that bitch. Hey, y'all. We know y'all in there. We scared. Let us in. <laughs> Let us in. Come on, Jethro. My shit need to be a lead. And then, and then they got the stacks coming up. Yeah, because you got to get the fresh air. Or you gotta filter it. Probably it depends on it depends on what happens. It really depends on what happens and why you are in the ground. Right, that area ain't gonna be too goddamn fresh if it's nuclear. Yeah, not yeah. fresh at all. <laughs> right, yeah, y'all gonna be down there fucked up. <clears throat> it depends how far be away. Dead in the can. <laughs> depends how far away you are from it. This all this shit is just go to go show us Mark Zuckerberg bunker because these bunkers made me sad. Like, all right, man. you can't. This is what we can afford. That's the bunker. That's probably way too expensive for us. This just uh, RV bunker right here. Man, can't that's, afford. That's Mark. not enough room to have an argument in. You have an argument here, and then somebody goes to the kitchen here, or to the bedroom here, or the bathroom here. Mm. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of. You can't even debate you know, who we got to take turns watching the, the TV. Oh, my God. I don't see anywhere. I see the computer right there. So I guess you got to. I'm assuming you got a PS5 stayed up, uh, you know, so some kind of setup. I could, guess I could game up at the desk, but shit. Everybody watched the same TV until like 20 years ago. It was fine. We had one TV in the living room. Everybody watched it. I mean, what are we doing? Cooking meals in that little two burner ass stove? God, Lee. Like, what, what's that? Just. Fries and, and, and chicken. Where I'm cooking the vegetables at? Fuck. You think you're getting vegetables? You get oh a can. God. You're going to open a can. <laughs> get some powder. Some, yeah. Uh, oh some astronaut God. food. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, tell you what. I'm going to have to. I'm just. I'm I'm. I'm going to take my chances. Scrap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to scrap an alien on the first day. If I lose, I'm not going to know it because I'm going to be dead. I'm going to be the fuck on. And then it is what it is. Y'all deal with this shit. A lot of people do not want to survive the apocalypse for that very reason. The They're rebuilding. Like, yeah. Women do out here post oh, No, I want to survive, but it's like, I don't got time to be, uh, that just look like too much hard work being in that little ass can. And then they just, all they got to do, what, what if an alien just walk up to your little hole and just pooed in that bitch? <laughs> and then everybody <laughs> just be like, what is that? And everybody just dead. And this alien just farted y'all to death. He laughing. They didn't cover up the other hole. You think it's going to be aliens, really? You say what? I don't think it's going to be aliens. You think it's going to be bombs? I don't know. Stuff happens every once in a while. You ever hear of the year 536 AD? Mm -mm. So in the year 536 AD, what they think happened is multiple volcanoes went off. And the sun was basically blacked out for a few years. They lost a few years of crops. All around the world, people were starving. Cannibalism from Europe to China. All everything just went downhill in that year. It's the worst year in human history. Five thirty six AD. It actually happened. So something like that. It could happen again. Can I tell you something? Five thirty six sound like a bitch ass year. 
<laughs> where they didn't have anything. They weren't even in the teens. Are you serious? Yeah, we've had 1999 already. We're in 2023. If everything went out, we had to turn the lights on and be in this bitch like nighttime, freaking McDonald's, everything. We're not growing nuggets. We're making nuggets. We're fine. Next. What? But like 3D printed steaks, bro. 3D printed maybe. What? 3D print me a porterhouse. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what? We don't have that technology yet. You really? I think there would be. You don't a- think we're 3D printing steaks? We're not no because we don't have the technology for pull it up. We're, we're, we're it's 3D. not steaks. It's it's ground meat. We're three D printing ground meat. No, we're three D printing steaks. All right, I'm telling you, three D printing steaks. We're three D printing burgers too. I think I think we pre. I think I, I've seen this. Yeah, it's vegan, plant based. Where is it? No, it's like fat meat based. No, this isn't actually a steak. It says right there that. That's that's a dog. Meat. That's dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely saw this. Mimic look, at that, look at that. Come on now. But I, he cut that bitch. That oh, is that that's so a dog fake, tree. Dog. <laughs> I mean, dog. And so you mean to tell me you live in a goddamn tube? You can eat one of these bitches. If I print this bitch out, whatever. Don't look at that. Fat, blood, muscle. That's meat. Yeah, it's not that's not real meat, that's vegan. No, I don't it just so. looks like meat. Alternative meat industry projected. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Go to the one that they that they use in real meat though. <laughs> what? All right, let me let me look this up because th- they are trying to. Um, they're doing meat, but it's they can't get the the structure that makes it a steak because there's a lot of like fibers that make it a right, steak. Right, right. So they can they have ground meat they can do, which isn't wouldn't be bad. Right, because ground meat they all all they doing is just squeezing it into the. 3D printed steaks are game changers. Here's why. Oh, that one made out of beetroot and seaweed. Yeah. 3D printed steaks are turning their energy and protein. Uh, look at that. Look at that. That's good. a real steak, though. That's uh-huh. not. That's not what. That's 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 3D printed. No, that's not. That's not. That's a real steak. 3D printed. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at them 3D steaks. Look at them 3D steaks. No, that's not. That's a real steak. That's not what he had that's done. 3D print. Print up 3D. Muscle. Animal muscle is made up of the fibers, otherwise known as muscle fibers, lipids, fat content. Look at that. Ooh, 3D printed steaks. Look at that. That's 3D printed. I don't know because everything else said that that it was vegan. Bam! Yeah. So they could three D without it being so. Like whether or not it's, so. So what it says is whether or not three D printed steak and other printed meat analogs are classified as vegan depends on numerous factors, including the ingredients, research and manufacturing processes, and the origin of the cultivated cells. If a printed steak is labeled as a plant steak, there's a chance that the company used meat in its research and development phases in an attempt to effectively emulate the conventional meat. In order to secure this, the success of 3D printed steaks, manufacturers should factor in consumer acceptance, tailoring your product to suit your market audience and essential is essential, and you will wish to distri- to demonstrate transparency as a value. Basically, they can't be out here lying about it whether or not whether or not they use real meat. So they can't say that it's vegan because sometimes they do use it. Yeah, I'm not. It's not not saying that they have the technology to do this though. So look, redefined meat only uses plant based ingredients. It does not market its product as 3D printed steaks. The company seeks to replace the beef industry's rib resource insensitive intensive production by targeting meat lovers no nah, nigga we don't want that shit unless it's made of fat and muscle and bones and shit i mean this this looks good but it's it's beetroot yeah i want no beetroot i mean if the world is at an end and you're an underground bunker i think you'd be okay with beetroot Oh, yeah. Talk to me then, though. Right now, today, when I can go to BJ's or whoever the fuck give me a steak, I don't want that shit. But it does, I mean, this one that he's working with right now looks a little bit better. Nova yeah. meat. 
We'll see when it comes to market. We need to eat some 3D printed steak and try it out. Would y'all eat some? No. I would try one bite. Why do you, you think it's going to give you, you cancer or something? Why not? No, I never had steaks. So I don't even know what the hell to compare it right, to. Right, but a 3D printed one is fake. You've never had steak? I've never had beef in my life. Oh, look mm -hmm. at these fibers that they're making. <clears throat> Hold on. Now, these are, these are, these are, these are chicken breasts. They thin as hell. They wildly. I just hope it's good. I hope it really works out. And then that way we 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 can just keep going with the shit that we like. I just don't want to give up nothing I like. Like like <laughs> No, I, I mean if <laughs> at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, if, if civilization is crumbling, bro, like everything's gonna go up with it, essentially. Yeah, well fuck it then. I'm out. Well, this this I've heard of where it's it's um it's basically like ground meat and it's real meat, but it's ground meat. Mm. Which is okay. Like you have a hamburger. The world's coming in and I'll have a hamburger. Mm -hmm. Remember in that, in that movie Demolition Man, they was eating rats underneath the uh, when they went un in the sewer? Yeah. That's what? a great movie. Yeah. I love that movie because it's a lot of that shit is here. It's not just the self-driving cars. It's the flat screens. It's the FaceTime. It's a lot of the shit that was in that movie that I'm like, oh, man. I think it's not in that movie is Aliens. That three seashells? I don't get it. I still, to this day, it pisses me off. <laughs> like what? Like what was it supposed? To, like what was it supposed to do? Like was it like scoop out some shit? Like what you supposed to do with the three? I don't get it. The three seashells for people who haven't seen Demolition Man recently are how you're supposed to wipe yourself after you go to the bathroom, and I don't get it either. Man, it pissed me off so bad. Like why would they not explain that to this day? Can we get on Reddit and see what the three seashells is supposed to do? I'm sure somebody on Reddit knows. Like it's very simple. It, it was it was a scoop method that was popular in the early. 70s? I don't I think it's just a joke. So what's this guy got to say? It's not oh, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I told you. That's goofy. That would hurt, bro. Yeah, I know. Hold on. But go to like, does it say oh yeah, 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 yeah. It says it right there. For those of you who haven't seen it, the Demolition Man movie. Is about present day police officer that did I. Well, no shots of the shells either at rest or in use. Our feet, no, no, I think they did show the shells. They show the shells. When, when Stallone is in the stall and he's looking at them, he don't know what to do. They're like on the thing. But that's not effective because you you would need, you at least you need some like sea moss or something like that because mm -hmm. or like seaweed because you got to wipe. <laughs> you would not wipe your ass with these. Now with these, now with this Marcy Moss from Nico Kitchen, I tell you that much. I tell you that much. Eyeballs wet as fuck. Draws stretched. I gotta get a new box of briefs. Let the front out these motherfuckers like a limo. Special made. They had to bring them on a helicopter. A period of time. No, I think it's a joke. There's no way you can use three seashells to actually clean yourself. Yeah, I just wish they. I wish one of the writers would get on here and fucking solve this for us. It's pissing me off. You know, Hollywood writers, they didn't think of this. They didn't go so far as to think of this. Shit, I'm a Hollywood writer. I, and I, I think shit off extensively. I'd be like, yeah, and basically, <clears throat> it's like, man. But you wouldn't tell them, though. That's kind of the, the part of the art. Right. Right. Even if it's unintentional, it's like, well, I mean, you know, it's up for interpretation. That's the artist's favorite thing to say. All right, I saw a Back to the Future fake remake commercial. Did y'all see that? I thought Back to the Future was coming back. I got so hyped, man. It was like starring uh, Tom Holland. Of course. Back to the Future. That shit looked this sweet, but it was just fake. That's something somebody made. Yeah, it was I see like people do that AI with like games, shit. though. Yeah, it was like some AI shit. <clears throat> I was like, man. But I think that, that ain't that what happened with that. Uh, First Black Panther Bashanga shit that started off as like a fan thing, and I think that they're really making that. Oh, I think that that they're really making that. I'm like, who, whoever the fuck made this is genius because that shit. I think it might really come out. Let me see who in the chat. Why you looking that up? What up, Javante? Stay busy. What up? Whoever Maya Osborne is, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Trying to help the people here. 
The ATX transsexual. What up, brother? Oh, wait. What'd that say? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> bad. The ATX terrestrial. Tritestical. Tr tr God damn. What's your name? It's like extra terrestrial. Mm. Extra terrestrial. Oh, okay. AT extra terrestrial. Got it. Oh, man. That, oh, wee. that tore me up, my baby. Uh, Ian Watkins. Here we go. What up, Brandon Taylor? Uh, Avery. Uh, Eric D. What up, though? Yeah, man. That's all. Patreon niggas. Anyway, Bashanga. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah. Not me. This is like 10 minutes. A 10 minute teaser? They're just speculating. Yeah, I think it's just speculation. Well, then get it made. Get it made, you know? Before, following the emotional events of Black Panther Wakanda Forever, where Shuri takes on the mantle of Black Panther after Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing, the series explores the rich history of Wakanda. The log line for Eyes of Wakanda reveals that the animated series will delve into Wakandan history, focusing on brave warriors who traveled the world to retrieve dangerous vibranium artifacts. This unique perspective promises to offer insights into Wakanda's past and its impact on the wider Marvel Cinematic Universe. Despite the absence of concrete details, the announcement of Eyes of Wakanda brings excitement to fans eagerly awaiting developments mm -hmm. from the world of Wakanda. It is worth noting that this animated series seems distinct from the live action Black Panther. Oh, uh, it's animated. Show. All right, cool. Let's do me a favor. Turn this the fuck off. It's like, no, I'm just. Okay. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll turn it off. You want me to turn it off? Can we close it? No, I just, I just didn't want it to be animated, man. God damn. I want that shit to be real, dog. We, 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 we ain't getting no good shit lately. Kia, what up, though? You know what's a really Zay good Nova. movie? What up, though? What is it? Athena on Netflix. Who's that? What's that about? It is a French movie, but they, the English dub is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and it is ab basically about one of their suburbs, one of the Paris suburbs. They call it suburbs, but really it's kind of like the ghettos. And it's completely, uh, it's just inflamed. Have you ever watched The Wire? Yeah, many times. Yeah, check that out. It's on Netflix. You can do the English dub if you want. Yeah! <laughs> I've seen it like three times. How many times man, have you I seen it? I love The Wire, man. Did you watch Game of Thrones? I did, but that last season killed me. It was so bad. Did you watch uh, House of the Dragon? No, because the last season of Game of Thrones was so nah, bad. Nah, there's two different things. It's like a prequel to some whole other shit. So, like, imagine if if they fucked up. Okay, let's say, like, this right here is Game of Thrones, right? And they, and they fucked up right here at the beginning. They went back here where it wasn't fucked up, and then just started fucking around. <laughs> uh, over there. No way, but I know how it ends. It ends bad. No, it does. I mean, it 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 does for some people. Like you watch like families that are like not really yet formed, like um like uh the like the Lannisters are just like little pricks. They're not really like the shit yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so you just see like you know who ran what, which is really just the, the like the Targaryens and. Everybody had a dragon, so it wasn't shit to see a dragon. And then it was big, like, you know, like um, like legendary dragons, which it, it just was dope. Yeah, no, I'm one of those people. It's like, man, I saw the ending. I see that this ends in failure. Maybe, maybe it just it's killed so it for me. It's so good, man. No, it's like they can keep this going and catch it up all the way to where Game of Thrones started for us. I think they just need to say, look, we're sorry we screwed up. Forget about that last season. Here's another season. They can't do that. But they are trying to do, they are working up, supposedly, let's look this up. They're supposedly working on a um, a Jon Snow Beyond the Wall series. I don't know if HBO that came in and just did so much strange moves, man. Yeah, Zay, you're right. He said House of Dragons didn't make the mistake of starting off slow. Yeah, they start off and it gets going. And I mean, that shit is crazy. You see a dragon in the first 30 seconds. And everybody got him. And some of them is sweet as hell. It's like 17 dragons in the show. Yeah, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if this is real or not. Let's let's look this up. This is what I'm going through. Because there's an episode called Beyond the Wall. Right, right, right. And I don't know if it's called Beyond the Wall. It might be called like King of the North or some shit like that. 
But um, just put like uh, John Snow. Yup. Oh, it's Snow H. Yeah, it's called Snow Age. No, I said it's no. There's no H. I spelled it wrong. Oh. Let's see. Jon Snow sequel show release cast and everything we know about the Game of Thrones spinoff. See, it's coming. My nigga John. Oh my god! And this was this was updated on December fifth. Yeah, so maybe this. Yeah, I might might give it another chance. You got to. It's fucking Jon Snow. He didn't do nothing wrong. That was Bran's little evil ass. Bran had this plan the whole time. As soon as he became the three eyed raven, he's put everything in motion to become the king, and that's what he did. He and planned then, to write a bad series, a bad season. He didn't plan to back write that. On it though, Maya, and the show has been about him the whole time. We yeah. followed him the whole time no, from the true. beginning, and we didn't even realize what what we were paying attention to. You think about it like what? Like he had no storyline for real. But like why were we paying attention to him and not um, Retcon Stark or you know what I'm saying? It's like we just. Locked in with Bran for some reason, like, and then they drop it on us. And he's the king. It's just genius. Smack shit out of George R. R. Martin in a good way. <laughs> so this has not been greenlit yet, but I assume see? if people want to, so, so it, no. What you mean it has not been greenlit? Where, where you see that at? Said uh, even though the Snow series has yet to be greenlit by HBO, it is reportedly in the early stages of development. Oh yeah, yeah, pilot. They just haven't they just haven't lit it up yet. But I mean, how stupid would they be to not light this green light this shit? All the fucking shows, Fifty Cent getting, and they can't, <laughs> they can't make this. I mean, HBO kind of canceled a lot of shit, right? Right, HBO went nuts. They canceled our shit. They canceled Love Life. I'm not gonna talk smack about HBO. Me neither. But their app now is disappointing. HBO Max app. Max. Yeah. It's called Max. You go I think, the that, app. I think that they have a lot of huge IP over there, and I think that, you know. That's a that's a lot. If they start paying people what they owe people on the streaming residual side, like well, they had to think about that beforehand. But it's still like they not even they don't want to pay anybody anything. No, nah, their motto was let's just let's let's just build it up as big as we can to be the best. Yeah, and, and they and did then, that. Then they they merged with, with Warner, right? Then they just do that. Or, uh, uh, Discovery Max. or Discovery Discovery yeah. Discovery, but that's a part of it's Warner it's part too. Of Warner, yeah, but like yeah, you know. and then ever since that Warner merger, everything's been going downhill. Yeah, they, they they just canceled rap shit, which is crazy because you know people yeah. was really really liking that. Shout out to uh, Issa Rae, uh, my boy uh, Lawrence Lamont was a director over there. You know, it's like shows just... not making it that far. They can get like one or two seasons, and that'd be it. Really, mm-hmm. we used to see shows do eight, ten seasons, Facts. and they'd be you know fifty episodes or more. Facts. Now shows get they get a little like look at, eight, look at eight how many episodes, episodes in the heat of the night had in, in the heat of the night had like eighty nine episodes a season. <laughs> that was a Virgil, good show. It's gonna be a long <laughs> night of murdering. I remember that show used to come on syndication like midnight or something yeah. back in the day. In the heat of the night, wow, wow, wow! I've got trouble. Yeah, yeah. You know, man, I used to hear that from my granddaddy room. In the heat of the night. Ow. They'd be, like, they be like, go to bed. You got school in the morning. But they'd be in there watching Heat of the Night loud as fuck. And I'd just be listening to that song. And that was my shit, low key, every night. <laughs> in the heat of the night. This dude. I love this dude. Who, Virgil? I don't, I don't know. The black guy. Or the, are, you, are you talking about Archie Bunker? No, not Archie Bunker. The black guy. Oh, the black guy. Oh, yeah, Archie yeah. Bunker's fine. I got a problem with him. Yeah. Uh, Whatever happened to this nigga who played Virgil, man? He let that wrong reporter. Like, what, but, the, what, what the fuck is that, man? Shit. Scroll up. We see how many episodes it had. 146. Damn. Let me see. What Eight happened? seasons. Eight seasons. Why, is, why is he all the way down there? He should be like first... I don't think he was on that first season. This nigga was a slave. God damn! Look at this old ass picture he got. That was a, that was a star. Wait, did he only? He was only thirty eight when it started, and he only lived. No way. Yeah, he, he looked died like in, he, he was died in fifty. Or is that his acting career? No, I think he. That's when he died. Ain't no fucking way. He did. Mm. Yeah, he died at forty six. That's crazy. Man. I thought he was like forty six when it started. Yeah, nobody. Baltimore, Maryland. He solved a lot of cases in that racist ass town. 
And then he come up there and we don't, we don't think. Hmm. Can we go to the In the Heat of the Night song? <laughs> oh, let this jam out one more time. <laughs> Somebody said copy, Virgil copy died of AIDS. Things. God damn, Virgil. Did oh, he? That's terrible. Yeah. Look at Virgil, freaky ass. Damn, get, get, get Virgil off of here. Uh-huh. It's fucked up. He ain't never had no mustache anyway. Oh, this is 536. Yeah, look up 536 before I get this off. Oh, this is the year of 530. The, 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 volcanic, the volcanic winter of 536. Yeah, worst year in human history, 536. Yeah. They I'm said, telling you right now, look at that weak ass book they made. They was, <laughs> they, they, they was not on shit. They were still damn near Stone Age. Well, they say that the Bible was prophesized this and that that's why we shouldn't listen to the Bible anymore because it prophesized this, the fall of Rome and all this stuff. It was prophesizing this year. Right. So it already happened. That's what they say. That's what some people say. Like it already happened. So what we're doing is to listen to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just running that bitch back. It's a good ass book. <laughs> I guess. I'm reading it for, uh, I'm reading the children's version for Roman just to put him to sleep. And there's stuff in there that's like, oh, this is a, this is a little questionable. <laughs> this is a little questionable. Follow Eric Solomon D said, Gora. Quincy E. Golden Grants. First of all, Go to Grants was a cereal I never got a chance to get. And I remember one time I got it and they just tasted like box. <laughs> they was good. just Go to Grants was not good. <laughs> it's not a good cereal. But Teddy Grants was a fire ass cookie though. Because it had a glaze. <laughs> it had a little glaze over the front of it. It wasn't just a cookie. They 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 like laminated that bitch with a little with a little goodness. Kids love them. Moms approve. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to fucking Teddy Grams. I'm gonna get some Teddy Grams I'll leave this bitch. Cinnamon or a chocolate Teddy Grams go fucking fire. Damn, Teddy Grahams was good, man. Life was better back then. Remember some Teddy Grahams? In like 1995? I don't know when it was, man. Just Teddy Grahams. Remember the commercial for uh for Starburst, all that juice be rushing down the hallway, all that red 40 rushing down on them kids. <laughs> cancer. About, um... Just cancer in the hall. Yes, just straight up. That was a Starburst commercial? Starburst commercial. They bite into a Starburst and then juice would just be flowing down the hallway. Is that Gushers? Gushers too. Gushers did it too. But Starburst, I, like, I, I, I'm, I might be too young. Yeah, no. Let's pull up some '90s commercials because I feel like, and it was like they would never do that today because they know damn well that shit killing all. All them kids is dead. <laughs> all, <laughs> all them kids on that commercial is dead as fuck. Letting all that Starburst juice rush over them like that. So we back. We watch we so for people who are on YouTube, y'all missed it. Join the Patreon. We just watched a bunch of '90s commercials that we cannot show on here because they're gonna demonetize our shit. And is this thing gonna be all mean to us about it? So get on the Patreon if you want to see it. Uh, but yeah, the juice is loose. Starburst. So now, Amir, you don't remember? You, so you don't re- re- uh, God damn, you don't remember those? Uh, uh-uh, not all of those. I yeah. remember the, I think the grandma one. Yeah, and then yeah. maybe the one like after that that yeah. was about to play. The we so came, was like, like, I came to yeah. your girl or your daughter, or whatever. Yeah, that was, was like 2007. That. Those ones. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anything in the 90s, I, I mean. I know some shows from the 90s. I ain't seen a goddamn candy commercial in years because they know better. Candy like cigarettes to these kids. It's fucking them up. You think that's what's fucking them up? We had candy and we didn't... It wasn't Candy was different back then. Remember you used to put a bunch of Skittles in your mouth and make a Skittle ball and then pull it out and look at the Skittle ball but look at all these colors <laughs> I made. Yeah, what you talking about. Thank you, Amir. Yeah, yeah. don't look at me like that, Maya. Just because you want to make a Skittle ball, excuse you. I used to, I used to eat like nine, ten Skittles, crunch them up it real was good. good. Always see how many you can do. Out. And then you take yeah. it out it's like a little rainbow. Like, yeah. Or you can do it, you can make all the color go away. And then yeah. Just yep. Good. And just suck a white. white ball of factory juice. It's <laughs> yeah. a fucking amazing. Wow. And I want some Skittles so bad, but Skittles got to change their recipe in America to make better Skittles because they had like a, it's like a big lawsuit. They was using all kind of shit, pork toenails and shit in them Skittles. That's, that's been gelatin. Around. I know, yeah, but gelatin. Skittles specifically, uh, can you look it up? Skittles yeah. having to change their American recipe. I had some Canadian Skittles. It was like, damn. Yeah, titanium dioxide. Okay. Well, this is worse than gelatin. Gelatin's in everything. Right. Right, I Illegal eat pork, food. so fuck it. But yeah, titanium dioxide, like, come on, Skittles. A known toxin that makes it unfit for human consumption. Yep. And so Skittles has, uh, according to the Center for Food and Safety, Mars said in 2016 that it would phase out the use of titanium dioxide in its products over the next five years. So well, that, Why do they need to be asked to do that, though? Why don't they just do that? Right. They like hate Americans because they do it in Europe. Right. Because it's illegal. They're like, well, it's illegal. Well, they have the laws there. 
And people are cut. They're gonna cut corners regardless. That's what they do. That's what companies do. They're known for cutting corners. But but they must actually hate Americans to do that. Look at what no, they just don't. Dioxide. If it caught, if it's like if it's something less or they or something they're already doing, then it's like we're not gonna just change. No, but that's what I mean. They hate people. Like there's no way you just feed people but, poison and you I mean, don't that, hate them. That sounds like most corporations. They hate people. Yeah. But here's they the love thing, money. Though. Here's the thing, though, Maya. <laughs> yeah, you could say that they hate people, right? But the bottom line is. There are things that you could do in America that you can't do in China, right? That, that you would be like, damn, China, what the fuck around with y'all? But they just have a way that they want to do it, right? Like, you know, they value life differently than they value life over here. It's like nobody's forcing anybody to eat Skittles. But look at what titanium dioxide is found in. Sunscreen, cosmetics, plastics, toothpaste, and paint. A lot of these things you're not supposed to be eating. In food, titanium dioxide can appear in anything from candy and sauces to pastries, chocolate, chewing gum, and other sweets. Damn, I'm hungry now. <laughs> titanium dioxide has been used for decades to whiten certain foods. Whiten? Right. Yeah, this doesn't need to be that white. It's fine. But it's a, there's so not the even no white Skittles. That shit's a... It's but white maybe, on the inside. Maybe, maybe the S. What if it's just the S that, that they stamp it on there? It's like, like I don't even need the goddamn ass, dog. Be. Take that be. shit off. I don't I need say, that fucking no ass. The only time they ever did that, they had like a. Uh, they, didn't they do a white skittle? It was like a like yeah, a yeah, uh, a Fourth of July skittle or something like that. Yeah, a, they had like red, red white and blue skittles. Like yeah, that. but they don't really do that often, so I don't know why. But when you suck the skittle, pause the color off, it'd be white, and so that little white thing. But that's it's probably normally white though. And then they put the color on, like the yeah, red color on the red forty shape. Is yeah, a well, right, that's Skittles are white, and then they put that on there. That's what I'm saying. We take the color off. That's when you see that they. Hmm. I don't really need Skittles because I got this Marcy Moss. So <laughs> I'm talking. I'm gonna tell you, this sea moss is pretty lit, delicious, and tasty. I don't need nothing too sweet. This made with real sugars, and it got sour sop in it, which is good for making your eyes juicy. It said uh, this that type of buildup can alter DNA, which creates potential concerns about cancer and other health issues. Mm. That's serious. Yeah, yeah, that's serious. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and if you've been consuming that, if I were you, if I were you, I would go to NicoKitchenShop.com and get you some of this sea moss and get yourself cleaned out and tell them CP sent you in, in the little thing. We cannot say that. We cannot say that. Can say <laughs> we what? cannot say that this is going to clean out that. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if you've been eating that, you can, you can eat some good shit like the sea moss from NicoKitchenShop.com. Yeah, we can, we can say that. Yeah, we ain't, Change saying, your that. Habits. We ain't saying that it's going to cure Skittles. But I'm just saying you want to eat something better. You, you want to turn that corner on them Skittles, put them Skittles down? Get so many CMOS gummies, man. NicoKitchenShop.com. And use the promo code CP send me. All one word. Do it. Get you a free erection. Yeah, they should they should just change. <laughs> it's an erection year. You know what I'm saying? Get you some CMOS gummies because it's an erection year. Let's just change it because it's better for us. You would never serve someone who comes to your house food that you know is poison. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, too. You, you want to hear a mess up story? Mm-hmm. Fuck me, dip. Okay, where am I? All right. So, they have found this. Man bitten by stray cat contracts infection unknown to science. Shouldn't have had his eyes out there fucking with them damn cats. And then people wonder why. Ooh, we see. I hope this make people realize every, every cat ain't your friend. Sometimes you got to just fourth and sixth them bitches. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? What's fourth and sixth mean? I don't know. Anyway, so. Is it a football term? No. Yeah. All right. Weird. Weird. <laughs> What's it mean, Amir? It doesn't mean anything. I mean, I mean, Maya said she was gonna beat that dog up. That <laughs> so, no, what fourth, dog was I gonna beat? But up? Maya owns cats, Amir. Fourth and six, fourth and sixteen, really? Because sometimes they go for it. I'm talking about a good fourth and sixteen. I said I wasn't gonna beat that dog up. I thought you said you would. No, no, he said I should. I said I I'm said not gonna she beat it. should. I, I mean, I'm hey, not gonna beat the dog. dog. Beat you though. I'm not gonna beat it up though. Shit, you know what you, you know what you gotta do to a chihuahua to get him off you, or if they bite you. Uh, a stump and twist. <laughs> no, I'm <scared. laughs> You got to do a stump and twist like a cigarette. You got to put their ass out. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I 
I will put a motherfucking chihuahua out like a cigarette. All right, see. The Debbie the sign of me. We used to have to, all right, see. Oh, I hate chihuahuas. Ah, right, man, what? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man, he got fat finger disease. Featherweight? This nigga's a clump. Damn, that shit, like, this shit take his skin off? Yeah, because they they tested him. They, they tried for, um, they gave him some antibiotics, tested it. They had never found this before. So they had to keep giving him different antibiotics unless they found something that worked. It probably makes sense, though. I mean, if cats be on the street and they live in with stuff and then they pass it on, it mutates and keeps going and going. Not every cat going to get saved. There's 14 a... 16 from the 40. <laughs> All right, someone say something in the comments. What does that mean? Fourth and 16. <laughs> Yo, a cat will fuck you up if you got too close. Like, I'd rather deal with a, a dog that's 15 pounds and a cat that's 15 pounds any day of the week. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. It can begin to fuck me up, but when I get my motherfucking hands on that bitch, <laughs> what you see the do? thing about a cat is, nigga, I, like a dog is the muscular structure is strong enough. I think I could, with my bare hands, like crush down into a cat if I needed to. Like cats just feel, I was like, yeah! like if I was a maniac, he's a maniac. I don't know, bro. Oh god, you always don't know. No, nah, nah. I'm saying I don't know, man. Cats is they're. Much quicker than dogs. If I, I much. keyword, if I get my hands on said I, cat, I, I, I'm crunching it. I'm crunching it like a potato salad. Because they also use their claws. Like do, Tony Baker has a great stand up about this, but dogs don't use their paws for anything. But a cat, you can't get close to it because it just starts clawing at you. So you once again, that's because you're trying to be nice to it. But if I pull one of them goddamn legs off like a turkey, then what? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah, y'all, y'all, people, people just respect cats so much. I'm not a cat person. Me either. But I, 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 I just, I, but yeah, but like, I, I have no problem with cats. I would never hurt a cat, but if a cat was trying to attack me, like, cats just don't seem put together very well. Like, you could just, what? I could just, I don't know about that one. Cat versus I would, snake. That cat right there is, is. That's how fast cats are. Duh. That's okay. A we man are. can do that. No, a man can't. <laughs> a no, man can definitely do that. that. Indian niggas do that all the time. <laughs> With cobras. Dude, yes, they do. That snake was finna bite him. He swatted that. But he was it was it was already like it was about to. Let's see what's gonna slow it slow down. He was right up to that cat. That's what made him offend. Like, wait, 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 why you fucking with me? See what watch. It's already going for it. He smacked it, bro. I mean, dog. Cat, or right, we don't have to do versus snake, but all right, are there are there multiple cat versus snake videos on YouTube? Man, Randy Moss could do that. In mesmerizing battles between cats and snakes, you might have wondered how cats deftly evade the snake's swift strikes and emerge victorious. Well, that's a cover too. Here's the secret to their triumph. With so astonishing agility, razor sharp reflexes, and keen instincts. Cats prove to be formidable opponents. That's a big ass cat. I don't know if I can rip him. Remarkable <laughs> reaction times, ranging from 20 to 70 milliseconds, surpasses yeah. that of an average snake, which typically falls between 44 to 70 milliseconds. This quickness Damn. enables them to deftly evade snake strikes, while their powerful claws and sharp teeth grant them an edge in close. Show time. cat fails with a snake, then got their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I guarantee you, there's so many. I so guarantee more. you, it's some it's it's some cats that have gotten attacked by a snake. Damn dogs, bro. Them dogs are getting towed up. Bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's the house cats that are just failing through life. Nah, cat versus snake fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm putting that nigga in that box. I'm putting that box in the microwave. What do you got against cats, man? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Cause I know you love cats so much. So I just keep saying shit. And you just get so offended. Like, no, that's that. Wait, cat versus snake, would they fail? I don't know where they fail. Wait, see, what's this, what's this going on? Snake scares cat. <laughs> I'm already laughing. <laughs> Ah! 
He like, go on, go on, go on, whatever that is. Oh, when he wake up, he gonna be like, what the fuck? Have you seen Cat? Yes, with the cucumber. With a, with a cucumber, yeah, but like, I want to uh, see some. Hey, the aluminum foil one's so funny to me. When people put aluminum foil on the, um, like, on their counters and stuff to keep them from touching stuff. From yeah. Being up there, and they just they keep falling on it, so they keep jumping. They instantly hit it and jump in the air. That shit is so funny. The cucumber is crazy too. I gotta try that on my own. Um, I never podcast. seen the the foil one. The foil one, it's, it's like, it's kind of similar. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do if your cat keeps going on the on the counter. You gotta put foil all over your counter. Cause they're not supposed to go up there. Watch. He's like, I don't belong on the fucking floor. No, I think he's better than the dog. He's gonna go up there and wash. <laughs> wow. I, I I wonder what it is. Is it the feeling of it or is it the sound? I think it's just not feeling like it's steady enough to be walked on. You gotta go to another one where they, it's like constant, like they continuously hit it. <laughs> if they have one of those. See, the dog knows better. The dog, that's the why dog dogs is cool. Dog, like my, dog could get up there if it wanted to. Oh, I should have did this. Oh, I put it around the Christmas tree. Did your cat mess with the Christmas tree a lot? Yes. Oh. Not, not my cat, the other cat. Y'all just be having cats. I got two cats and a dog. You all, you always want to have a cat because you want to, one, you want to keep mice and little rodents out of the house. And two, they protect you from witchcraft. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Oh, that didn't even need to do nothing. nothing happened there. What do you mean they protect you from witchcraft? The cat is supposed to protect you. The cat spirit. That's why witches have cats. And they're their familiars. Oh shit! I didn't know cats keep evil spirits away. Yeah, they keep evil. Well, they need they, to lead with that. That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> it's always like the cat lady was like, "Well, I guess we know why." The Egyptians worship cats. Right. Cats also have reptile eyes. Have you ever seen that? They have reptile eyes. Uh, some. No. Look up. Look up. Uh, straight pupils and what animals have them. You'd be surprised. No other big oh. cats. No other big cats have straight pupils. Damn. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, this might have been the one. <laughs> I missed it. Damn. Go back, go back. Rewind play, that play one. again. I didn't catch that one. Down, down, down. The circle, the circle. Oh. Which one? This one? The, the one that was just playing yeah, right there. there. Yeah. yeah. Watch this cat. All right, so it's just contemplating. You like cool anybody in here? About to do something bad. Bet hell yeah, I'm gonna get on that air fryer, lick some stuff. It's gonna lick. Your... Ah, God, bro, he, <laughs> he shot to the other side up. of the counter. Fuck this up, what little we bitch? We have a um a Nerf gun because you're not supposed to go on the counter. We see him on the counter. We can Nerf Nerf him. I think he's good like enough. The, the spray, the spray bottle. There. Then they get everything wet, so uh, this is a compilation. Mm. Is that a bird that just jumped up there and got? He didn't give a fuck about the foil. He just ate the bird. I don't give a fuck. I jump up there. <laughs> Goodness, bro. Yeah, that cat right there ain't scared of shit. Oh, he chewing foil. Why is that pissing me off so bad? <laughs> Why are you oh. holding it like that? Take that from him. Uh, it says animals with vertically elongated pupils were likely to be ambush predators, animals who lie in wait to kill their prey. And so, what animals have it? Because the, the, the thing I saw is mainly reptiles. Foxes, some reptiles, and yes, domestic cats. Oh, foxes have it too. 
I didn't know that. I'm not. I'm not a, a fox expert, but let me see. Fox eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah, foxes have it too. Look like a cat. Oh, and it's, it's something. But no, nah, because that fox got the. Some of them got the circle. Is that? Oh, that's a red fox. That's a human. Oh, what, this one? That one has a circle. No, oh, that's still. No, I think it's just that they're uh, they're a little. Small. Pixelated, yeah. yeah. Well, the people just look a little small. CP, you ever seen the uh, Tibetan fox? Mm -mm. <laughs> they look fake, bro. Not gonna lie. It's called the Tibetan fox. Bro, they look fake. They don't look real. They look like a video game or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, they do like Minecraft foxes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they like a Minecraft fox. Damn, that motherfucker looks fake as hell. Like He's like, I already know. It don't even look like that. Like somebody put that face on Look that at his fox. face though. But look, but go back on his face. His face is like, I already know what you're going to say. Before you even say it, I look fake. Everybody knows it. I already know. <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't get a hit with a copyright. That's crazy. The right. Tibetan fox. He like he looked like somebody had to draw a fox on a composite sketch for the for the police. <laughs> 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 From memory. Yeah. Uh, Damn! Right. Look at yeah. Tibet though. That's beautiful. I mean, if, if if you like being cold as fuck with a runny nose. Yeah, that's where I was for the past few days. Just snow. Mm. I wonder what French Bulldogs be doing in the wild. I was like, live in the wild. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's people with, with that dense level of science who will just be like, I wonder, man, I wonder what my, uh, <laughs> what my chihuahua does in the wild. We pull up wild chihuahua, like a, you know what I'm saying? Like people don't even get it. Like we've made our own animals. I think the French bulldogs down the road for me, I think they got stolen because there's um missing posters for them all around the neighborhood. I think someone mm. came and stole them. They are coyotes can eat them too. Damn. I've been really? hearing dogs get what? I've been hearing dogs get fucked up at night. They won't fight a coyote off. No dog uh, is gonna willingly try to fight a coyote. No, but if it's if it's life and death, they're not gonna the way that, that so the way that they fight is like they fight like velociraptors. Like one mm -hmm. wouldn't attack you, right? And but if you see one brave enough to fight you straight on, there's two coming from somewhere else. Uh -huh. So like they're fighting your dog and then they pulling his legs and then next thing you know they didn't rip them apart. He's trying to fight this one, then now he got his neck. They roll together. Mm -hmm. You see one by themselves, they usually go in to find something and yep. then they call on for Yep, they're going to oh, yeah. scout. See, my neighbor said he saw my cat fight off a coyote one time. Your neighbor lying. But my cat's a Maine Coon, so he can make himself look a lot bigger than he is. Oh, for real? Yeah, they have all that fur, so they can like... And that's why your neighbor lied to you, because he wanted to strike up a conversation with you. Tell Tony he need to check that nigga flat out. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Anyway, dog, I guess this is a good time to stop, man. We having a good ass time on this bitch. Somebody said goat eyes look crazy too. Real quick, look up goat oh, yes, eyes. They, yeah, yeah. They do? Yeah. Yeah, goats, they always say that they're haunted or something, like they're demons. It's like you see straight into their body. <laughs> Creepy. Ah, goat eyes look like an arcade slot. Be like, you walk up to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a button to a brunch coat. <laughs> but it does look strange. Big ass pea coat buttons. That's you horse. see that movie Witches? Mm mm. Okay, that's a horror movie that watch involves it. goats. Athena and witches. Athena and witches. Look at this goat. His eye look like a, a a a coin from Mario. Don't like a Mario coin. It does. God, Tony wants to get goats. I'm like, no way are we getting goats. They're funny. They're dirty. <laughs> I mean, they get outside. They're not really supposed to be like a pet. I know. for the grass. I might get uh, goats for Luca because he needs something to herd, mm -hmm. and Tony wants goats. But... They're good for the. They're good for the, the land. They are good for the land. They can. Um, they're basically like lawn mowers. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're cool as hell too. Mm -hmm. My homeboy got a goat. 
and like you ask him, do he want something? He'd be like, nah. <laughs> no, he like, you sure you straight? He'd be like, nah. CP is lying again. Nah. Or like some something happened. He'd be like, ah. Why what you laughing at? Like, ah, little shit. Really, that nigga eyes look spaced out. He look like I have seen things. But you know what else though? The shape of the pupil also refers to the light spectrum that you can see in. Oh. So like they might be able to see dimensionally on some whole other shit. That is really interesting. You know what I'm saying? Goats be knowing. I don't know why in ancient Europe, or not ancient, I'm talking about <laughs> medieval Europe, they think that goats are like associated with the devil. Yeah, because they was dumb as hell. They ain't no <laughs> shit. They ain't had they ain't had nothing sweet. Probably the horns. Yeah, running around in in, in them hard ass metal outfits. <laughs> metal Fuck out of here. <laughs> the knights and shit. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, we out of here, man. It's been another episode of the CP Podcast. Man, always the questions, never the answers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, join the Patreon, man. Hop in the conversation with us. We just be chilling. It's a good time. A good time. Spark up a blunt. Relax. You know? Don't forget. Nico Kitchen Shop. N-I-C-K-O Kitchen Shop.com. CP sent you. Get healthy, man. For real. For real, for real. We out of here. Peace. <laughs>